Ladies and gentlemen, I went hunting for gold, I went digging for gold, and we found it. And no, I'm not talking about that kind of gold, so let me show you exactly what I found. What's good everybody, Dark Wolf here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, as you guys can see, right in front of me, we have some sort of chest, a wooden chest, and y'all already know what is always inside these chests. Gold, you feel me? Literally, gold. But we don't care about that kind of gold. The money gold, that's not what we want. The Pokemon gold, that's different, you feel me? That is something we definitely want. So if you're curious on how I found this treasure chest, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys clips based on true events that happened in my life that I had to go through to find this chest. Well, I mean, it wasn't really that hard, but you guys get the picture. I had to go hunting for this chest. So let me show you in three, two, one, and let's get it. So guys, ironically enough, the chest was in my backyard randomly. I don't know who put it, maybe a pirate from long ago went to my house, or maybe he lived in this house before me and left the chest for a video, for a Pokemon video, and that is what we're doing in today's video. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now, because if you guys smash that like button, we will pull the golden ultra necrozma it's been so long since we've opened up some dragon majesty and y'all already know how many packs we've opened up in the past of dragon majesty and we have not pulled the golden ultra necrozma yet i believe we opened up at least 300 booster packs of dragon majesty overall y'all already know i went ham on the ETBs back in the day when this set released because I was desperate on the hunt to get the Golden Ultra Necrozma. So guys, smash that like button, please. And also make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see on the screen. But guys, are you ready to embrace? Are you ready to see what's inside this chest like i said if there's money in here i don't want it i don't care about it if there's pokemon cards i definitely care about it because y'all already know the true gold in this video is that golden ultra necrozma so let's get right into it in three two and one can i oh my god this thing is on tight i opened it early oh my gosh really really dark goal year that week hold on guys all right guys five hours later i managed to get the seal or the little clip thingy off i had to use um yes i had to use a hammer thank you thank you for asking how i got it open but anyways guys 
Are you now officially ready? We both are getting, well, I'm getting a second look. You guys are getting a first look, or maybe you're getting a second look too, because maybe you saw in the footage where I found this chest on what's inside. Anyways, guys, that doesn't matter. Are you ready right now? Oh my God, that is a sight to see. Like I said, we don't care about the gold. Like this, that out of here, bro. I do not care about becoming the richest man on earth. I care about this booster pack of Dragon Majesty. That is beautiful. So we got one, we got two, three. Oh my God, it's keep on coming. We got four now, that is four, right? Yep, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And is that everything? Yup, ooh, actually, we got energies, of course. What's a Pokemon opening without energies, my guy? And it looks like we got something else. It looks like we got a pack of sleeves to sleeve up that golden ultra Necrozma, which is absolutely amazing. But alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I got the star of the show ready to go. And we got all the booster packs right here as well. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that little story. Y'all already know that I only made the chest, you know, put all the packs in the chest just to make the video a little bit more entertaining rather than doing, you know, your basic 10 pack opening of an ETB and that's literally it. I just wanted to make it more entertaining for the ghoul army. So if you guys did enjoy that, just smash that like button. And that's basically letting me know that you guys enjoy that little skit slash story. Without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive right into these packs. And hopefully we can finally pull the golden old Trinacrosma in this video. Mark my words, we will pull it. I kid you not. We will pull it. So the good part about Dragon Majesty is you get a holographic in every single booster pack. But you're not guaranteed an ultra rare in every single booster pack. So basically, no pack of Dragon Majesty is going to be a dud. Which I actually really, really enjoyed from this set because basically, no man is left behind. Or no pack is left behind in this case. So we got ourselves the Combust skin. And we got the Gyarados holographic. So we got the homie Gyarados in the cut. And y'all already know I love me some Gyarados. I love me some Magikarp. I love me some Feebas, Milotic. I love all the fish Pokemon and what they evolve into. Because, I don't know, they did a really good job of the evolution lines for basically Magikarp, Feebas, and most of the fish Pokemon. So let's go ahead and keep it rolling, guys. And let's see what we can get in this next booster pack so we got ourselves a lightning energy Ooh, we got the fiery flint i'm sorry gyarados but yes ladies and gentlemen this fiery flint is worth around five to six dollars in case you didn't know at one point this card used to be like ten dollars a piece fifteen dollars a piece it was absolutely crazy so if you opened up a lot of dragon majesty look at your bulk and check out how many fiery flints you have because that is definitely a worthful card right there speaking of money cards we got the lightning energy which is a good solid dollar and we got the Kamo'o holographic to go with that unfortunately this lightning energy is worth more than the holographics we pulled and that just goes to show that holographics aren't worth much unless they're playable then most holographics are worth under one dollar or maybe even under 50 cents that's why I always say I'd rather have holographics in green codes, you feel me? I hate getting holographics in white codes. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys already know that I hate it, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to complain about it. So we got ourselves the Trap Pinch, and we got the Charizard holographic, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually getting some decent cards, despite not getting an Ultra Rare so far. We are still getting some very decent cards right here. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve up that Zard. And we are also going to go ahead and sleeve up the Fiery Flint. And unfortunately, the Zard is not going to take down the Fiery Flint. Because I'm pretty sure the Fiery Flint is worth more than that Charizard. But that Charizard does hold its value a little bit for being a holographic. So that's the plus side on getting a Charizard card. But guys, 
Where are the Ultras, bro? I love getting these playable cards, do not get me wrong. But where are the Secret Rares, ladies and gentlemen? That is what I want. Speaking of Fiery Flint, we got another one right here. Another one. But guys, we got the Milotic up next, followed by the Zygarde, and then we got the Lance Prism, and we got the Altaria Full Art. So we got three straight bangers in this opening, or in this single booster pack. We got a Fiery Flint, a Prism, and a Full Art. What more can you ask for, my guy? Literally, three amazing cards. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve up all of them, and I'm probably going to switch Fiery Flint with the Altaria Full Art only because it's a Full Art. Like, this Altaria Full Art is not worth much, but just because it's a Full Art, we're going to go ahead and put it as the star of the show because I'm pretty sure y'all would rather see something shiny on that card stand. But guys, we still got six packs left, and I am already more than satisfied with what we got as our pools to show for. But... Let's not forget the purpose of this video. We are here for the Golden Ultra Necrozma, and that is what we're going to get, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video. Oh my god! Oh my god! We got the Reshi Ram Secret Rare! Oh my god, imagine if that was gold, bro. This is definitely a treat right here check this out we got the reshiram secret Re i'm sorry altaria get out of the star of the show we got to put this reshiram the beautiful majestic looking reshiram secret rare that is nice that is beautiful that is art right there that is literally art an amazing card. I love Reshiram, Zekrom, Kiram, Black Kiram, White Kiram, you name it. If it has to do with Reshiram, Kiram, Zekrom, I love it. I am like completely blown at all of the pulls that we have gotten in this opening so far. So let's see what else we can get because if we get something else, we got the Grass Energy right there. And we got the Hydreigon to go with that. Hydreigon is also one of my most favorite Pokemon of all time. I just love three-headed dragons, bro. One head, two heads, nah. Three heads are better than one and two. I think I remember seeing like a commercial. I forgot what the commercial was for, but it was basically like a mom with two heads. And then it said something about two heads are better than one. I'm not sure if anybody else remembers that commercial because it's probably old. But for some reason, every time I see something with more than one head, I always think about that commercial. So we got ourselves the Salandit. And we got the Dragonite GX, bro. What can get better than this ETB right now? Like, what is going on? We still got three packs left, playa. Dang. This is definitely an insane opening right here with insane pools. We got the Dragonite in the cut. I don't know, man. I feel like we have gotten way too many good pulls, and I'm not sure if they're going to spare us a Golden Ultra Necrozma, but we got the Reverse Fiery Flint, bro. Dude. Dude. I don't know what to say anymore. We got the Fiery Flint, and we got the Altaria GX. And on top of that, we still got two packs left. And on top of that, we already got a Secret Rare and several other bangers out of 10 packs. These are probably the best 10 booster packs you will ever see of Dragon Majesty opened up in your entire Pokemon life. You feel me? Literally, hands down. You cannot argue that this is an amazing Dragon Majesty opening right here. So we got the Feebas and we got the Feraligator. And now... It all comes down to this Charizard booster pack right here. Let's see what it has in store for the Ghoul Army. So here is the code card, and let me know what you guys are pulling in the comments down below from these code cards. If you guys managed to pull the Golden Ultra Necrozma in the online TCGO, let me know. Take a picture, tag me on my social medias. If you guys are curious, what is my social medias? Links are in the description down below. But we got the Crocona, and we are ending things off with... A beautiful holographic 
Kira, which is absolutely amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, this opening was probably one of the best openings I have had this month, maybe even last month and the month before that, one of the best openings of the year for sure. But guys, although we didn't get the Golden Ultra to Krozma, just check out what we got in exchange for the Golden Ultra Necrozma. We got ourselves basically five holographics right here. So five out of the 10 packs were true bangers. And then we also got five additional hollows. So that's not bad getting additional hollows. Now, if anything is worth more than a dollar from the rest of these cards, I will be putting the value on the screen when I show you the card. So we got ourselves two holographic energies and you can easily get energies for a dollar a piece maybe even less but the most you can get is one dollar a piece for a holographic energy which isn't bad you feel me so we got two energies right there we got two regular fiery flints right here trainer cards bro these are at least four to five dollars a piece you feel me i know that because i recently sold four of them for twenty dollars 19.99 you feel me so it is definitely up there when it comes down to value and then next up we got the Fiery Flint in reverse. Now, this card is probably worth like two more dollars than the regular one, but I just sell it at the price of the regular one because why not? That's just me, though. Obviously, you can sell it for more if you want to. So like I said, we got three of those Fiery Flints easily, easily makes up for if we didn't get any Ultras, but that's not the case. We also got the Charizard Holographic up next, followed by the Lance, prism star who is surprisingly enough owns a charizard himself so that's actually a very very fitting ultra to get right there and then we got the dragon eye gx up next not the best ultra rare, but it's still an ultra rare nonetheless and next up we got the altaria gx which is probably one of my most favorite pokemon from this set because i always used altaria when i played emerald ruby sapphire this was my to go to fly pokemon so this is an amazing card right here. And then we got the full art form of Altaria GX, which is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting this many ultra rares. And on top of that, we got the star of the show, which is Reshiram secret rare, rainbow rare, hyper rare GX card right here. Check that out. Definitely ended things off with a banger all of these ultra rares and you know trainer cards and energy cards they can probably let me buy a golden ultra necrozma mark my words i can probably trade all of these for a golden ultra necrozma should i do that should i try to i don't know we'll see but without further ado guys the hunt does not stop for the golden ultra necrozma we will continue to hunt for that card without further ado guys i'm super satisfied with this opening hopefully you guys did enjoy it as well and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace